This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Good morning, I'm Jeff Michael. Here's an update on the stories we're working on this morning. Sheriff's deputies are looking for burglars who hit four pharmacies in the Santa Clarita area early this morning. They say the burglaries are in Valencia, Newhall, and Saugus, and they're definitely connected. Drugs and syringes have been stolen. The fourth burglary in Castaic only took cigarettes from that location. A funeral is going to be held today to remember an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy shot in the line of duty. Stephen Bellinger was wounded in 1994 in Roland Heights. The bullet was lodged in his brain. He died earlier this week. The funeral will be held at Pomona Valley Memorial Park. There's a new study. Could be a wake-up call about drowsy driving. It says lack of sleep leads to a lot more crashes than previously thought. Previous government estimates put drowsiness as a factor in maybe one or two percent of accidents. But a new study by AAA says nearly 10 percent of crashes can be blamed on lack of shut eye. And a compound commonly found in food may hold the key to preventing a deadly form of breast cancer. Cedar sinai researchers found limiting an amino acid called asparagine dramatically reduce the spread of triple negative breast cancer in mice. A lot of foods are high in asparagine, including, as you might have guessed, asparagus. These new parking meters are coming to downtown L.A., but they're not really for parking. Starting today, these bright orange meters will be popping up to help raise money for the homeless. These ones are already, these are already found in Pasadena, where they have been a huge success. All right, now here's Danielle Gersh with a look at your weather. Hi, Jeff. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. High pressure still parked over the West Coast. That means it'll be warm and sunny again today. But I have some changes in your forecast because as we head into the weekend, this ridge of high pressure starts to break down. A couple of disturbances move through the area. By early next week, low pressure will bring us a chance of rain as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For today, though, we're still talking about 80s and sunshine. Mid-80s in Pasadena, upper 80s for Woodland Hills later today. Upper 70s, low 80s from Manhattan Beach down to Torrance cooler for the Orange County coast with temperatures in the low 70s mid 80s in West Covina for the Inland Empire temperatures mostly in the mid 80s as well near 60 up in Big Bear this afternoon. Here's a look at that extended forecast highs today in the 80s should be in the upper 60s. We will take off five, six, seven degrees as we head into your Friday. The sunshine sticks around partly cloudy, much cooler for the weekend with temperatures in the 60s and the 70s for Saturday and into Sunday staying cool into next week with a slight chance for some showers beginning Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. So we could have some rain on your Valentine's Day. We'll keep an eye on it. Jeff. Join us for the CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. for the latest on all of our top stories. I'm Jeff Michael. Hope you have a great morning.